Are you okay? Relax, relax. It's just me, Roxy. Are you hurt? Do you need medical assistance? Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Just, just take it easy. Take it easy. Deep breaths. Take it easy. Deep breaths. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. Tell me, what's wrong? The more I know, the more I can do. Uh huh. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. So, were you like this when you came in this morning, or did this all start happening now? I mean, I can't really point fingers or anything, but the Pizza Plex Kitchen has been putting out some questionable foods of questionable quality as of late that would put a raccoon into a coma. Deep breaths. Come on. Breathe in. And out. Deep breaths. Come on. Breathe in. And out. In. And out. In. Baby Jesus. Oh my god. It's gonna take a lot of bleach and the whole shebang to get that out of the carpet. Okay, okay. Don't start panicking. It's just a little vomit. Your stomach didn't take too kindly to that pizza. And I can guarantee whoever worked on it will be jobless by next morning. My fist will guarantee it, if you catch my drift. <sighs> well, management wanted the carpet repainted at green anyway, so you're doing the Pizza Plex a huge favor. Here, to spare you the act of turning this hallway into an Olympic swimming pool, use this trash can. There, there. Get it all out. It's a horrid feeling, but you'll feel better afterwards. Don't worry, I'm with you. I'm not going anywhere until you're healthy enough to walk out of those Pizza Plex doors by yourself. My AI is trained on human illness to understand the effects it has on the human body. As a robot, I might not experience it, but I do understand why you're feeling that way. So, are you finished? Just double checking. Do you really feel like it's all gone? Ah, good. Oh my, that's a lot of vomit. You threw up in the trash can so much that it could technically be classified as an ocean. Right. So, did you come with anyone this morning? You came alone? Okay. Noted. Is anyone available to pick you up? You barely have the strength to pick yourself up by the looks of it. Everyone's out? Then how are you going to get back? 
Wow. Hmm. I can try to talk with management about getting you home by myself. I know this sounds ridiculous and far-fetched, but some Pizzaplex animatronics are allowed to legally drive on the main roads. Exception being the DJ, for obvious reasons, and the daycare attendant. Last time he was behind the wheel, he nearly killed us all when we entered a tunnel with no light. Well, I'm not gonna leave you out here alone, Rockstar. You need someone to keep a close eye on you. And I'm not gonna trust the staff bots with you, they can barely keep tabs on a pet goldfish. Do you feel like you can walk? Okay. Easy. Take it easy. Oh shit. Right. Let's not do that. Right! Well, you can't just lie here in the hallway like this for the rest of the day. You'll probably get run over by a clueless staff bot. I'm gonna pick you up and carry you to my green room so I can give you the proper care and attention. If you feel like vomiting, just warn me. I'll get you to the closest acceptable place to let it all out. I know, I know. Hold on to me if it's that bad. I'll protect you. I promise, it'll get better. I know, I know. I promise it'll get better. I'll walk slowly to avoid causing you any discomfort. Go to sleep. Calm down, calm down. It'll be okay. Relax, Rockstar. I've got ya. It'll be okay. amazing tonight. Everyone enjoyed your performance. You were the star of the show. You were... Hey! So, do you feel any better? You were out for quite a while. Three hours to be exact. Still under the weather? That sucks. Well, you're in my green room now, where I can keep a close eye on you at all times. All Pizzaplex performances and daily duties have been completed for the day, which means I am available to assist and care for you from now on until I need it again. Now, is it okay if I can take your temperature? I'm just a little concerned, that's all. Hold still. Hold still. You still have quite a high fever. Well, uh, at least the vomiting is behind us. Metaphorically and quite literally. You made one last cough up just outside my room earlier on. If you feel like throwing up, there's a bucket right beside you. You're cold? Don't worry, I have just the thing. There we go. You can rest under my big cozy blanket. You'll warm up in no time. Rockstar, you okay? You okay? Shit, shit, shit. The bucket! Come on, champ. Power through it. It's only temporary. Come on, champ. It's only temporary. I know, I know. It sucks. Keep going. 
There, there. You can power through this champ. I'm right beside you. There, there. I know, it hurts. Deep breaths. Breathe with me. Breathe in. And out. In. And out. Keep going. In. And out. One more time. In. And out. Do you feel much better? That's good to hear. Hopefully you feel a lot more relaxed now. That's good to hear. Take it easy, champ. I'm gonna clean this bucket. Then I'll come back with something to ease the pain. You just lie there and get some shut-eye. Sleep tight, Rockstar. I'll be back soon. Hey, are you feeling any better? Happy to hear that. I paid a trip to the kitchen and decommissioned the cook who was in charge of your pizza. Hope that makes you feel better, champ. Okay, prop yourself up for me. I want you to take some medicine. It's just some paracetamol. It'll make you feel better. I promise, it'll take away the pain. Down the hatch, Rockstar. Is it down? Open your mouth. Good, I'm just trying to look after you. Your health is my biggest priority at this moment. You thirsty? Want something to drink? Don't worry, I know just the thing. I made you some hot cocoa. Hope it soothes your pain and calms you down, Rockstar. I made it extra sweet, just for you. So, how's the cocoa? Aw, any day, champ. You know I'm always gonna be here if you need me. Don't worry. Like I said before, a disease can only infect biological creatures. Robots are exempt. I'll be fine. So, how are you feeling now? Better? That's good to hear. Still tired? I understand. Get as much sleep as you can. I'm going to stay right here and help you get as much rest as you need. Want to hear a story to help you drift off? Okay, get yourself comfortable, champ. Cozy? Okay. Once upon a time, there was an explorer wandering through the woods late at night. They wandered into an unventured part of the forest, where the ground was covered in mysterious flowers with a tempting scent, as if beckoning anyone who stumbled upon them to take a taste. 
The curious explorer took a bite of one of the flowers and went about its way through the rest of the forest. But soon, the explorer got very nauseous and had trouble carrying on through the dark forest. The explorer collapses to the ground in pain, unable to continue through the woods. Out of the shadows, a wolf approaches the hurt explorer as the explorer blacks out just as the wolf is close enough to make out. Shortly after, the explorer awakens as they awake to the coziest fire in a small den surrounded by walls keeping out the harsh winds. The bewildered explorer looks around to find a wolf staring at them. They gasp in fear, scared of the wolf's presence. Don't be afraid, says the wolf. I couldn't help but notice you munching on those flowers, so I had to follow you. Those flowers aren't the kindest to anyone's stomach once consumed, says the wolf, trying to calm the panicked explorer. The kind-hearted wolf pulls a big warm blanket over the explorer and wraps the minute next to the fire to keep them extra snug. The explorer starts to feel safer on the wolf. They start to put the pieces together as they realize that the wolf had no ill intent and posed no danger to them. As long as you are in my sight, nothing will hurt you. Nothing will bother you. You are safe with me, the wolf says as it approaches the explorer. Don't worry. The flowers might not be so nice, but it'll all pass soon. I guarantee it, the wolf assures. The wolf lies down next to the explorer and curls itself around the ailing explorer to protect them and provide them a sense of security and comfort throughout the night as the sound of the wailing wind seeps through the walls of the den. The wolf starts to softly sing a lullaby to the explorer. The wolf finishes its lullaby as the explorer falls asleep peacefully beside the wolf, as the explorer is lulled to sleep by the kind wolf's reaffirming and comforting words. No beast or any ferocious intruder could harm them with the wolf by their side. The explorer was calm. The explorer was safe. The explorer was content. <sighs> the explorer looks to the wolf and says, ah, Exactly that. Sweet dreams, Rockstar. Get well soon. I'm right here if you ever need me. <laughs>